Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new Line 6 Helix uh, preset tutorial to show you, and this is a Stevie Ray Vaughan type of preset. Uh, this is all kind of inspired by a fractal preset uh, that I put out last week, and I was really digging it, so I wanted to see how close I could get in the Helix, and I think I uh, kind of got pretty close, so I wanted to show you how I dialed this all in. Um, and if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Um, also, just want to let you know that uh, with these tutorials, um, I do them just to kind of show you all what I've come up with and uh, just kind of put it out there in the world. Uh, if you want to help the channel to grow, definitely hit the subscribe button, like button, comment if you like. But also, uh, if you want to help support the channel um, and want to buy this preset, uh, without watching the tutorial all the way through, then uh, my email is in the description box below. You can email me and uh, figure out how to buy the preset and I'll send it to you. You don't have to go through the video at all. If you don't want to do that, that's fine too. You still support the channel by watching the tutorial. Today I'm going to be using uh, this Roxy Pink PRS Silver Sky Core one. It's really cool. I have it tune down to E flat. The only reason why I'm using this one instead of my Mike Lowell guitar, um, it's just because uh, this one has that uh, decked bridge and I don't really like to mess with my my setup on my Mike Lowell one since it's floating so I don't want to really tune it down to E flat. So using this one, uh, going straight into my MacBook Pro, straight into Logic. No funny business in post, just all Helix tone. So let's go dive in into uh, HX Edit right now. All right, so here's the preset. Um, it's not much. So we have six. So you might be able to get away with this in uh, the HX Stomp as well. So uh, something that I think you could probably get rid of in HX Stomp if you wanted to. Uh, this last uh, reverb block, and I'll show you what that that does. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the really important stuff, the amps and the cabs. So uh, this is kind of going after that like 80s kind of SRV. Now I'm not like a big um, SRV expert. Um, if you know me, it's more of a John Mayer channel. So uh, forgive me if I butcher anything uh, SRV faithful fans. Um, so we're using the US double uh, verb. This is, uh, they're both uh, the, on the vibrato channel. So we don't have any vibro verbs in here, so we're gonna have to kind of make do with this and use a little bit of work around. So the first amp, and uh, this is obviously uh, parallel. So we have this guy, the US double verb, or double vib. Uh, check out the settings here. So this one, I would call it like the cleaner of the two. Uh, make sure to dump that bass, boost the mids. Um, I just find the Helix to be a little bit brighter, so I have the treble a little bit lower. Uh, I think this one is for the most part pretty stock down, like from presence all the way down to bias X, but uh, definitely make sure you boost the drive a little bit. Okay, uh, we have the 2x12 double uh, C12N. Uh, I have it on a 121 ribbon, I just like the sound of it. Uh, position is two, so pretty close to the center, um, one inch away. Did some low and high cuts here as well. Okay, the second one, this one is like the dirtier channel. So 8.2 on the drive, dump that bass, boost the mids. Um, I like having the, the treble up quite a bit here. And then uh, from here, it's pretty much the same. Uh, using this one by 15 Ampeg uh, B15, that, this is important. I think this really helps the character of the amp uh, kind of mimicking the vibrato verb, or sorry, the that's fractal talk, the vibro verb. So using a 57, make sure you copy these settings here. Uh, let's go turn this guy off, this guy, this guy, here's kind of what it sounds like. 
So not bad. Here's where it gets uh, good. We are gonna add some more mids and maybe a little bit of 4K and a little bit of low end right here. So this is using the 10 band uh, graphic EQ. So uh, plus 0.9 on the 62.5 Hertz, uh, plus 3.5 on the 125. And so we're just kind of sculpting the low mids a little bit and then boosting uh, around 4K. Now you can boost 8K too. Um, for this guitar, I just, I kind of liked it without the 8K. So here's what it sounds like now. I don't know, just, I feel like it tightens things up a little bit, so like. All right, now going to, let's let's go all the way back here first. This is a dynamic ambience in stereo, set to 12 meters. Uh, I think I just set it to 44% and that's basically it. So let's hear it. So the purpose of it is to add a little bit of like room feel because this is going to be the main reverb and I'm setting in parallel so then we can get some more of that dry signal coming through. And this is the Legacy 63 Spring, um, about five seconds on the decay. I gave it some pre-delay, kind of going um, after some pride and joy kind of chugga chugga stuff so you hear a little bit of pre-delay. Um, don't think I did any low cuts here, but definitely some high cuts to give it some warmth. Um, right here, uh, it's set to 44%, but then um, I have it to 57% on the next scene, which is Lenny, but here's what this sounds like. <laughs> So it's got a long delay, but it works. Okay, the last part, so drives. Here's the Scream 808. Um, the gain is kind of high, but I just find that it, it's necessary on the Helix. So uh, here's a little bit of pride and joy. Let's make sure this guy's on. Okay, so set to two, uh, gave it a little bit of tone, and then all the way up on the level. Now, if you wanna get crazy, add the next one. Follow the settings here. Turn that guy off. All right, so uh, I obviously have these on some uh, snapshots, but uh, here, let's go to this Lenny one. So you'll see right here, it boost it brought the mix up on the reverb. So here we go. All right, there it is. That is my Stevie Ray Vaughan Helix HX Stomp, HX Stomp XL. I think this could maybe kind of work on the Podgo, but um, overall really happy with this guy. Uh, copy it, let me know what you think. And again, if you don't want to follow the tutorial and dial it in yourself, 
hit me up. Email's in the description box below so you can purchase the preset. And hopefully I'll have some more uh, Helix content coming soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.